What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get unlimited stamina in Skyrim. This is not an exploit so it's never going to be patched, because it's technically not unlimited, but it might as well be, because using this method I'm about to show you, you'll be able to power attack and shield bash or block without having to worry about your stamina levels. As you can see from the video, I can literally shield bash this giant all day. In fact, I've killed giants like this at low levels just because of this regen method. Basically, I've made my stamina regenerate fast enough so that I have enough to shield bash every few seconds. Because of the quite overpowered knockback effect the bash has, I am able to stun lock the enemy so the giant cannot attack me. Now if you get your timing right, I can shield bash the giant and then attack and then chill bash him again to stop him from attacking me. So if done right you can actually kill enemies without taking any damage whatsoever. This is a key game mechanic that's necessary on master or legendary difficulty. So what I'm going to show you is a few cooking recipes. Something that probably 99% of you overlooked. Let me give you an example. This vegetable stew. It gives you 1 point of stamina per second for 12 minutes. Not to mention it also gives you 1 HP per second on top of that. It looks like a small amount of regen, but compared to a normal food which gives you 2 HP, cooking is the way forward. If you are having trouble playing on harder difficulties with a warrior, this is the key to success. This right here. It's so underrated. Forget stamina and health potions, I can just regenerate like a boss. So I'm sure by now you all want to know how to make this. Well it's really easy and it contains some of the most common ingredients in the game that you find in barrels. You know, that stuff you thought would never be useful to you. You'll be able to find pretty much all of the right ingredients around farms. There are a few around Whiterun, just here on the map. Just go around and harvest cabbages and search barrels for leeks and tomatoes. So there are actually three things you can cook that are going to help with your stamina regeneration. Which one you choose however depends on what benefits you want to gain from it. Or you can just eat them all at once. So firstly there's beef stew which restores and increases your stamina by 25 points and gives you 2 points of stamina per second. So that's twice as more regen but you don't get the health regeneration. Then secondly, you can cook venison stew or vegetable stew which are both really easy to make and they give you 1 point of health and stamina regen. If you're a warrior I recommend you go for venison or vegetable stew because you'll be more likely to get hit and lose health. But if you're an archer, eat the beef stew. And if you have the time to make all three, I recommend you just eat them all and then you'll get all the bonuses added up because they stack which is just ridiculous. So if you cook enough of these foods that I just suggested, and then you eat them all, like I'm doing now, then you go to magic and then you go to active effects, and you can see that all these foods are stacking up. So I've got so much stamina regeneration that it's unlimited. So I can just run for an infinite amount of time. Stamina is just no longer a problem. It's pretty overpowered. The ingredients you need can be found in the description. They're all pretty easy to find like I said before and they're all available in plenty. I hope this video helped you out and I recommend you check out the channel for more builds and guides or you can subscribe for future updates. See you in the next video guys.